Welcome back to the 2024 Big Sky Conference Kickoff Media Day. Welcome back to the Big Sky Kickoff Weekend. Megan Robinson, Kyle Hansen, your host here in Spokane, Washington. And we roll on and we're joined by second year head coach at Sacramento State, Andy Thompson. Andy, thanks so much for joining us. And you guys are back here once again, one of the top five teams voted in the league. So year two, what's it like kind of entering this as opposed to a year ago? I feel very familiar with the setting. I had a great weekend here with um, all the coaches and everybody's been great and we're excited to kick off the season. Coach, last season your defense held Big Sky opponents to 15.3 points per game, did not allow a Big Sky opponent to score more than 24. How do you build on that this year? I think we've got um, some new faces, um, but they've been working on it all off season. And um, you got to have great players, and then you got to have coaches that put them in the right spot. And we're trying to do those two things. And excited about the group and excited about the team. And uh, I'm looking forward to fall camp working together to uh, – you know, as a whole team to, to, to improve. And so we're hoping to do that on defense. Andy, as you enter uh, second year as a head coach versus last year, yeah. you know, what's it like? You know, what, what was like the smoothness like, or, you know, just kind of working through maybe some things you didn't have to as you were kind of taking over the program versus now you, you've been running it for a while? Great question. Yeah, I think there's a lot I can improve. Um, and you do a lot of self-reflection. Football, you have that long off season. And so we've been working at a ton of things, but we really want to be more consistent. And I think for me, uh, that process of, of calling defensive plays still and also being the head football coach, which is the most important. And so being in charge of the offense, defense, and special teams, the great thing is we've got a great staff. Um, coach Frescas is back as an offensive coordinator. Coach LaPan is back as our special teams coordinator. Got a lot of coaches back. We've got a lot of familiar faces, especially on the offensive side of the ball that know our system. So that, that helps a ton when you have good people um, and you just let them do their job and, and uh, try to help as much as you can in any, any part. Coach Lassie, and I, I don't want to speak for you, but Stanford win had to have been one of the highlights of your year. What did that show you about your team? I think you know, our, our group last year was very resilient. Um, there was ups and downs in that game and kind of like our whole season last year. Um, but when we put things together, um, all three phases, man, it was it was special. And that was a special win for uh, the school to, to beat a Pac-12 opponent and to be able to do it um, in front of a lot of people in Northern California. Uh, brought some great notoriety for the school and, and these players that work so hard that you're going to meet here in a little bit. Um, it was it was a great win. It also uh, it capped our, our non-conference season with uh, being 3-0. and And I do feel like in FCS football, it's so competitive. You got to do a great job in the you know non-conference to put your best resume out there because, you know, at the end of the year, the committee's going to look at, you know, your whole body of work, not just, you know, the last couple games of the season. Coach, as you look at some of the guys you bring back, because a year ago you kept a lot of those guys, right, in your yeah. first year, and a lot of those guys have been with the program for a while. You look at Caden, you look at, you know, some of the other guys you guys are bringing back. You lost some big names as well. So what do you like about this roster and who kind of comes to mind a little bit that's going to lead the charge for the Hornets this year? Yeah, the two guys that came with me, Jackson Slater, um, put together my best offensive line career you could. It's 34 straight starts. Yeah. Never redshirted. Um, he's going to graduate in three and a half years. He's been a two-time first-team all-conference player. Um, he's going to be a physical, physical guy. And, and uh, so feel really good about him and, and a couple other offensive linemen coming back. Um, and then Caden Bennett coming back for his senior year. You know, he, um, last year he completed 64% of his passes, which is for a season, that's second all-time in our school's history. So he's very accurate with the football. Um, and uh, if we can keep him healthy, you know, I think you'll see what he can do. We also got a lot of depth. You know, we've played some other guys um, at quarterback and other positions. Excited about some of the new faces on defense. Uh, Will Lota coming over from Utah Tech. He's been an all-conference player. And um, there's a lot of names. But it'll be fun to see guys emerge. You know, and each season is different. And it's so cool because um, we've got a good group of guys and they've been working at it really hard. Coach, you mentioned Jackson Slater. I'm going to be speaking with him in just a few minutes. Your offensive line last season only allowed 16 sacks. Yeah. What does a powerful offensive line do to you as far as offensively scheming for games? Well, I think if you want to win a championship, you know, it starts with your, with your fronts, offense and defense line. You hear a lot of coaches say that. But when you've got guys that are experienced and you've got guys that can – move the line of scrimmage forward on offense and on defense getting guys going the other way it really helps you to control the football game and especially to close out games and i, I know we had we had some tough losses a year ago and and um part of that you know is continuing to develop at the at both sides of the offense and defensive line and so i think that's a great recipe for success is when you 
have those guys up front that can control the line of scrimmage and make it easy for all the, the speed and skill that hopefully always at Sac State we're going to have because there's a lot of guys that are fast in California. Coach, we got a quick surprise for you here. If you take a look up here, we're going to have some video for you from your time as a player, a very familiar oh, man geez. with the Big Sky Conference. we got a, one of the highlights ago. of your career here too with the Montana Grizzlies. Yeah. Take a look right here, Andy Thompson. He's going to drop back and uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I, I might have. Here. Yeah, this. Uh, look, no, no ability to make anybody miss there. But <laughs> no, that was a long time ago. But good memories of playing. And uh, God, I had a neck roll on. I was. That's. I don't even know if people wear those anymore. It dates you so a yeah, bit, right? it dates me a lot. But <laughs> no, great memories of playing. Um, every year, this time of year, I've been a part of a football program because my dad coached, my grandfather coached. <laughs> And so it just feels like it's that time of year to get going. And, and now being as a coach going into almost 20 years, uh, I feel lucky to be a part of the game because it's, it's given me so, many, so much joy. He's a football man through and through. Well, Coach, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it, and good luck this season. Thank you, guys. Thank you for covering the big sky. You guys do a great job. Absolutely. And coming up, we have Jackson Slater and Caden Bennett on the other side of the break. Stick with us.